product placement on the product. I'm the product. I'm the owner, product, and muscle. Triple double, no assist. Knock it off. All right, yo, yo. I'm Kelly. I'm in the castle with Mr. Misfit. Mr. Misfit, what's to you? Can't call it. Uh, just pretty much preparing for the rest of this summer tour. Uh, next show is August 3rd. Uh, Tote and Tats at uh, Twisted Tattoo Studio. All right. It's hot. <laughs> Summertime shot, full effect. You did. Um, what side of town you kicking it on? I'm from the west side of Chicago, Austin area to be particular. Austin area. That's where you kicking it at. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's where we at. All right, cool. Uncle Remy's for president. I was finna say, put me on. What's the spot? What's the restaurant? Yeah, that definitely where? Uncle Remy's uh, off top. That got to be like a monthly stop there. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, you got Priscilla's, but that's not, that's on the west side. That's on the west suburb if you're talking Priscilla's or something like that. But yeah, man, uh, I don't reside on the west side of Chicago. So a lot has changed since I've been living in that area. You know? Makes sense. Gentrification. Right. All right, cool. Mr. Misfit, man, how did that how did that name come about? Uh, I used to go by more the misfit, uh, more the misfit with graphic nature MCs. Uh, that's my foundation hip hop group. Uh, it's a profound Chicago hip hop duel, uh, which consists of myself and so illy um, and the producer Henny Brown. Um, but I used to go by more the misfit initially. And then uh, I stopped doing hip hop to focus on my real life career. And uh, when I returned back to hip hop five years later, I became Mr. So we own the name Mr. Misfit. And uh, it just shows it's a it's a it's a segue for growth. Right. I was more than Misfit. I came into the game as more than Misfit. And now I'm Mr. Misfit. Mr. Misfit. And it's typically Mr. to you. <laughs> OK, I get that. So which brought you back? You say you took a break. What brought you back into uh, I had did a song with uh was I did a feature with some with some guys that was active, uh, who were some good guys when when I was active myself, and that song kind of transitioned like, giving me purpose to be back in the game, and it was a lot of inspiration within the game as the game had evolved in my absence, so um, I felt the need to compete again. I felt the love for the game again. I love that. Okay, cool. Definitely, uh, game is in need of strong lyricists too. Definitely, Anybody? definitely, and with integrity, right? Yeah. Uh, pretty much, that's what that's what we uh, that's what we base our foundation on is integrity. You feel a day to day. You get a day to day from me, right? Uh, just like you get from Instagram. You know, we show our highlights of our lives. Well, mine is coming and documented chrono chronologically. So. Um, yeah, integrity based hip hop, lifestyle rap in a way, real lifestyle hip hop. Uh, as far as music goes, you rap. Have you ever incorporated any R and B into your um, music, like hooks, features, things like that? No, you know that's a good question. I haven't. I haven't explored that at all. Mm -hmm. uh, my counterpart, So Illy, has. He he's, he he makes real grown men music. I just grown people music in general, but I've never I've never played with any R and B at all. That's that sounds like a good call out. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. Well, sh since we on the subject, um, is there anybody in particular that you would be like, you know, make that call on the way home? Like, yo, man. Let's uh, if I could work with somebody, I will mess with someone that's really soulful, like a B J, the Chicago kid. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm with. I get you, man. So, um. In addition to, you know, managing your brand as a artist, you also do fashion. Yes, I do. Uh, I'm the co-owner of GNMC Branding Company. Uh, it's a lifestyle brand and at, at a reasonable rate. Uh, I like I like high end fashion, just like the next person. But um, I guess because I have the quirk to design and the resources are available for me to put it together. And then not only that, like the confidence that I get from my peers and other people wearing it, it just, it just, it just feels good. And then it gives you a, another release from hip hop. 
outside of hip hop. So I have another identity, which strengthens my individuality, um, uh, individual. So, uh, yes, uh, I, I have online. You can get it on Shopify, GNMC Branding Company dot com backslash Shopify and also um, GNMC Branded Company dot com. Um, but I feel like you get a better quality when you go through me. So if you go through uh, at 33 Mr. Misfit on IG and uh, Facebook, you get good high end quality and you get custom garments. So outside of what the drop shipping provide, I also pro provide that service too. And I actually touch those touch those garments. So the one that you went you the one that I gave you today, yeah. I touched that myself. For sure. I love it's it. It's just taking artistry different, right? Definitely. Okay. Do you have um have you faced any issues trying to balance that or do they kind of go hand in hand together? The music, the clothes? Uh I think I balance it pretty well. I think I balance life pretty well. I think that's what separates me from a lot of artists is that I know that we all we all have our struggle. We all have our narrative for our for our craft in the way that we partake mm -hmm. each individually. Um, but that it's not always OK to like. To OK, think certain things and, and, and the kids and men are still uh, tender at the mind to where they they're easily impressionable. So you have a lot of blind leading the blind. Right. So for me, it's kind of there's no there's no difference between Mr. Misfit and Danny. Um, with that being said. And then when there's no struggles, I'm sorry, no, there is no struggles between the two because I don't have to separate my artist or my person. I want to succeed at life, not just at these other fastens of things that I do. That's a word right there. For sure. So talk to me about the song you performing for us today. Uh, it's called Habits. The name of the song I do, I'm doing is Habits. I think it's about five years old. It's a five-year-old song, but to me, it speaks to where I am right now because uh, I have these habits, right? And then they're, they're not bad habits. They're just habits of being dope, right? And I just get the opportunity to convey that by, you know, having the resources to record and having the talent to compose. So I convey that that message over a record and put a dope video behind it. Uh, I think it was it, the video was uh, directed by uh, Johnny Garcia, Johnny Garcia. But yeah, it's a dope, it's a dope, dope vibe. Um, yeah, and I articulated some dope stuff. <laughs> Can't wait. So um, putting the song together, what was that like? Mm. How did it come to you? Um, you know, what was the feeling behind? Uh, it was like one of those things where I was like, I was on a productive spurt. And as the more the production come to me, I kind of get a little more in my pocket. And I guess this allowed me to be in my pocket because uh, I remember it. I remember I had just did another project, a whole project prior to that, and then was dropping a gang of singles. So once I'm in that pocket, it's just like, ain't no getting out of it. I've been in my pocket right now for the last three years. So pretty much if I can dig the vibe, dig the, the, the vibrations you sent me, it's going to get dealt with in 24 hours. And that was one of those ones. Like you, when we perform it today, you'll be able to see. And if you, you was playing a video early, if you watch the video, it just comes naturally. And I had an opportunity in the video to just really uh, brand. So everything I'm wearing is all my stuff on that video. That's how you do it. For sure. I call it uh, flow state. Yeah. yeah. It's just yeah. Cool. product placement on the product. I'm the product. I'm the owner of product and muscle. You know, triple, double, no assist. Knock it off. <laughs> All right, cool, man. Um, well, what you got coming up? I'm performing at the uh, Toka Tats event. It's somewhat of a festival. It's two to nine at Twisted uh, Twisted uh, Tattoo Studio with a uh, fat fat bottle greetery. Really dope, dope uh, about the people there. Uh, and then in addition to that, I'm about to drop a video called Criminal Minds with this uh, artist called RH Dynasty, Mi Familia Palabra. 
you know. Um, also, a, a slew of other singles that I got with a few producers like Ill City. Um, I got some product. I also have a project coming out, not project, but a single that I might drop with Mr. Castle. Um, I got a lot of stock, so it's kind of like elucent. I'm about to go on vacation in the morning, so I'm not really in that process. You know, you and I came across each other and we're making it work. But for the most part, man, yeah, when I get back, I'm, I'm getting straight to it. I want to compete some more. I got stuff on stock. I got projects I got to. I got to drop, not projects, but singles I got to drop and record. So it's just about whenever I'm ready to do it. I think that's the beauty in being me. Like, I don't have a team, a team to be like, yo, this is, or you should do this. I kind of just, just float as I want to float. Like, um, four projects this year, right? Uh, why wouldn't you? Um, uh, pardon my integrity, um, greet and build, and the current uh, Lightweight Pimpin' EP with uh, Tony Baines, right? That's four projects in this year and then about six singles in between the scheme of things and visuals and content to go with it. So just after I get this vacation, I'll be back. I'll be ready to come back and be pow a, a powerhouse, a solo powerhouse again, you know? Mm -hmm. But I'll be really deep diving into the, into the garments. Right. Uh, it seemed like there's a demand for that and I want to provide it. And it just makes me feel good to see people rocking my stuff. Okay, cool. I love that you call it compete. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You get out here and compete. I love that. Well, I played football like most of my life. Okay. And after playing football, you pretty much transition in our conditions. You transition into game banging. But it's still competing, mm -hmm. right? Competing in hip hop is not is nothing in comparison to the street, but it still has that same competitive nature as a professional sport. And at this point, we're, we're performing at a professional level. So I just want to be able to merge. I don't have to be the best, but we hella dope, you know. So being from out west, right? Mm -hmm. um, I see a lot floating around on social media, like what was the hardest hip hop era? What era had where you from jumping? I'm talking about the block, everybody beating this in the car. From from the city? What hip hop era had your block cracking? Like From the city though, right? Yeah. Or where just you in from? music in general. Where you from specifically? Uh I mean from where we from, it was a lot of like snipers, psychodrama, triple darkness, mm -hmm. twister, uh did I say snipers already? Yep. Uh nuisance. That was dominating our area. I mean, what was being wang, you know, words like wang, what was wanging in like right. Astro Vans. Right, you remember right. they used to have the Astro Vans painted? I may be speaking above somebody's pay level, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but we had it, we had the Billups, the small Billups with the Billups steering wheel on, on the Astro, Astro Van, man. It was painted, it was candy painted with the most craziest illustrations along it. Like, it was those guys that was being bumped. Those, yeah, man. Yeah, they was they was that in my era, and we talking about ninety two to ninety six. Mm, okay, you know what I'm saying. Nope. So yeah, that that was dominating, and and then Twister went on a reign for like from like ninety four to ninety seven. So it that was dominating in my area, but we was a few of us was cut from different cloths, and we was open to different other genres of hip hop outside of that, which was more articulate, like Wu-Tang, Nas, and you know what I'm saying, King T and stuff like that. So we was dipped in different. I remember being over over on, on Illy's porch, uh, and his, his cousin Tommy was dropping us some, some, dropping us some RBX. And it was like my first time hearing a real raw, raw, a raw West Coast rapper. And it wasn't like it wasn't like NWA it was raw, but he was talking about NWA, so it felt more raw and authentic. And I, and I felt like, yo, if, and I'll be honest, I fell in love with West Coast hip hop since then. That's my preference. West Coast game bang music. Okay. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. This Mr. Misfit performing live on what's to you. Let's get into it. Let's do it. Oh. 21 gun salute to one Pakistan The bees goes where the geese goes and break it with the fam China whopping cat and bees is on the menu Cut the music back on as I continue Got a shopping hat 
Had the kicks in the trunk, took the wifey absent. I don't give a fuck, man, never mind the fashion. It's methods to the madness. Celebrate life, champagne in them glasses. What you expect, I'm wet off more wet. The measures of success is counted at every breath. Calculated movement, snooze, you take a losing. Dread the judgment handed down by this ruling. Supreme being inferior, my presence, Zach. You can catch me outside or the parking lot snuff you. Brass knuckles, fist wrapped in belt buckles. Who, what, whatever with the scuffle. The kid play guard vision from down south. The saint is a center city slicker and gold mouth. Handgun in the right pocket prevents the slipping. Trash trips in my slippers, no easy picking. Vigilante flow. King shit, no foe for the vando up the 380. No candle to blow. Practice make pro. Bet against the odds, see life's a gamble. Depart, Ralph for Ralph Lauren, rugby 89. Ran away, learn a crime in the mix, dodging time in the cut. Kick a rhyme, Philly 40s, cheap wine. These are the motherfucking days of our lives. Aim for the head, that's a formula takedown. Dissect the record if you want the breakdown. Soup lines around the corner, calls a shakedown. Rock a platinum Gucci link, Flatbush to Cape Town. Oh!